Hey Leo, thank you so much for coming back to my channel. If you are new, hello, I am Yasmin. If you have not already, please like and subscribe. All right, Leo, we're gonna go ahead and get started with your reading. Of course, we're gonna look at love, uh, finances, all of the above, right? So this is going to be for Leo. For Leo. Oh, sorry. My camera is like really shaking. What is going on? I hate when my camera starts shaking like that. What is happening? I don't like a shaky camera. Sorry, Leo. Give me one second. I just want to make sure it's okay. All right. So the, the first card that came out here. Ooh, I love it. Nine of Pentacles. This is financially independent. If you have not been or you have, have been struggling with finances, I do feel like you're Money is going to get much better. This is free. This is freedom. Some of you guys have been feeling very stuck in life. Yeah, look at this. I see peace. I see freedom, traveling, okay, moving even. Mm, but there's something holding you back here with that devil card. Some of you are dependent on something. <clears throat> is it a person? I do see addictions. It could be eating, okay, overeating. It could be some type of uh, uh, drinking. Some of you like to drink a lot. Okay. Let's see. Mm. All right. At the bottom of the deck, I have four of cups. What is wrong? So I feel like with the, the four of cups, the overall energy is just sadness. Okay. And this could be for a, a lot of different reasons. This, this could be because a family setting, a home setting isn't what you want it to be. Okay. Toxic home life. Okay. It could be people in your home. This could be a love situation. A lot of you don't like the fact that you're single. You may feel like you have to, you know, travel abroad in order to find a, you know, a person, a spouse or whatever. But I'm just going to tell you what I'm saying here. I feel like a lot of you are waiting for someone in particular. OK, um, you you need you do need peace. OK, and that's part of the freeness that you are wanting because something is holding you bondage here with the devil card. Something is holding you um, like restrictive energy. OK, it's bondage. And again, I feel like this has something to do with stability. It could be a family, it could be a home, it could be marriage. Okay, something that you feel like you're not getting. You may have been dealing with someone who's very toxic. This could be a spouse, this could be a lover. Again, family members. But something has been weighing very heavy on your heart and on your mind. You've been sad, you've been very, you know, disappointed, okay? And this may have already happened. So, you know, you may have already left the situation and you're still emotionally tied to it in some way. And it's causing a lot of obsessive thinking, um, sadness here. But we're going to go ahead. We're going to keep going. This is for Leo. Leo. <clears throat> this is for Leo. 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 Okay. All right. So I had, and then at the bottom of the deck is the eight of cups. So a lot of you have already walked away. And if you haven't, you will be, this is what I was talking about with something being toxic, whether in a home or a relationship or whatever, your, your money is going to be really good. Yeah. Somebody from your past may try to come back in here, but for a lot of you, you're just trying to not think about the past at all. I feel like you're trying to gain peace from that, trying to move on from that. Some of you are actually moving and leaving because it has been so toxic and here with the four swords, you need to just, you really need to, um, you need peace and you need to move in order to heal. Maybe staying at, at, a, at, a, at a house or staying in a city um, is, is going to cause a, a wound to remain open. And some of you are just leaving it all the way together. I do feel like this was some type of long-term relationship for a lot of you. I feel like this was a family setting, whatever it is, has caused a lot of disruption and problems. Mm hmm. That's what I'm saying. You want something fair and just you want you wanted someone to be fair to you and you have not experienced a fair situation. OK, whether you were in a relationship with someone or you were in a family setting that something happened, you have been feeling like things have been unfair for a very long time. Um, you have been at a disadvantage. OK, now, like I said, I'm not going to talk about money anymore because it looks like money is going to get better. But when it comes down to your emotion, your emotional state. It has been, you have been through it, okay? And it has something to do, 
like I said before, with something you've already experienced. And a lot of you may experience this in the future where you want to leave. You want to walk away because you're not fulfilled or you're not happy. Okay? And it's been a burden. But what we're going to do is go ahead and clarify these cards here for you, Leo. We're going to see what this is all about. This is for Leo. For Leo. Yeah, feeling stuck. This is why freedom is needed. Some of you have been feeling stuck in a marriage, stuck in a connection, feeling stuck at home. Um, and then it could be just overthinking because you just don't have any money. I told you. That's why I said you could tell there's financial freedom here. You're no longer in your head about money or feeling like you can't do anything because you don't have any money. So things are going to improve with your finances. But if this has something to do with a relationship, absolutely. There has been a lot of, you know, again, holding, held hostage feeling bonded to someone or can't stop thinking about someone. Let's get the Six of Swords. You guys cannot stop thinking about someone. Yeah, look at this. <clears throat> wow, Six of Swords. So I do see someone coming in here. We got the Knight of Swords. I feel like there's somebody new. I feel like this is someone different, someone new. Not to say that someone from the past is not really digging you or wanting you, but someone really wants to come in and make something right with you. And this person really is feeling you. So I'm kind of, did someone leave someone to be with someone that they really like? Because whatever this is, this is someone really, really liking you, but I feel like you have to go to them. Now, if you um, this is if this is not dealing with anyone in a connection at all, I feel like there has been some type of separation or there has been some distance between you and someone that you were really dig digging. And this person like you just as much. OK, and I see some type of communication here. I see that you may see each other. You could live at a distance. It could be an earth sign for some of you. Yeah, there are secrets here because the um, high priestess came out and then there it is with the moon. There's definitely secrets. Someone, someone has a secret person. Some of you are in a connection or someone is in a connection where they're not feeling that there's no spark. There is nothing. That's why I said for some of you may feel very trapped in your situation. Your person may feel trapped in their situation and they want to walk away. Okay. But there is sadness and depression because of what has already occurred. There has been a separation for some of you when it comes down to romance. Mm -hmm. And a lot of overthinking. Let's get this four of wands here for Leo. Thank you. Yeah. So I do feel like someone has a decision to make when it comes down to staying in a home or moving, that type of thing. But there is going to be some type of forward movement. I feel like there is going to be a move, like actual physical move. I, I see that. Some of you are just relocating. And right now you're trying to figure out if this is what you want to do or not. I also see that... Um, some of you in your home setting, there's some toxicity in your home setting and you feel so guarded. This could be with family. This could be with a spouse. Some of you are feeling very on high alert at home. Let's get the to the pinnacles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some of you are trapped, feel trapped in a situation because there's kids and uh, kids involved. Mm hmm. It's like the co the relationship has grown cold. The connection has grown cold. Okay. Someone feels like there is no spark in a connection anymore. This could be you or your person. But there are children involved I'm seeing here. And I'm also seeing that for a lot of you, it's hard to walk away from someone because you've been knowing them for a very long time. Or it's hard to forget them. Let's get the Six of, cup the six of Cups. It's real hard to forget them. Someone from your past is coming back in here. You haven't talked to them in a while, but I do see them coming back in. But I feel like it's only to complete a cycle. That's what I'm saying. Because I still feel foolishness here. Someone from your past is coming back, but I feel foolishness. Someone that you were interested in or that you were involved with, it, didn't, it doesn't necessarily mean that this is, you know, anything serious. But for a lot of you, this is someone that you were interested in. Oh, somebody's interested in you as well, but they keep running. There is this, 
weird runner chaser dynamic where the person is really feeling you, but then they're, they're not they're not really accepting how they're feeling. They don't want to accept it. Let's get the four swords. Someone is in denial. Yeah, so I do feel like, you know, there's going to be some clarity here. You've been needing clarity, especially, you know, you needed to meditate. Because someone if someone really is in love. Someone really is feeling you or you're feeling. Both of you guys are feeling each other, whoever this is. But someone is running from it. There is going to be communication, especially if that's what you're waiting for. I do see communication. Healing from nonsense from this person, but they will communicate with you with you. And I feel like they're they're obsessively thinking about you as well. They really do like you, but I just feel like there's some something that's there's some type of obstacle. Let's get the justice card. Some type of ob obstacle here. Yeah. So someone definitely wants to come in and win you back. Apologize, okay? I do feel like it's, you know, something was over with, but someone may have changed. This is going to be a decision because someone looks like they are in a connection with some with, with someone else. Like there's like a connection here where they can't get out of it. Or if you are single, this is obsessively thinking. This someone is obsessively thinking about you. Okay. And you have a decision to make about if you want to deal with this or not. You haven't talked to this person in a while. But it looks like this person is coming back in here. They miss you. You know, they love you. It's that type of thing. And they want to make something right. And this is like, I need to make it right. That's what I'm seeing here, Leo. So this is what I have for you guys. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. And again, if you are new, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And I'll see you back here again soon. Bye.